we, we are always putting Watson in a situation where it's informing human beings and where uh, the final decision will be the medical doctor, will be the practitioner in, in the field. Uh, Watson is not a decision, it, Watson does not make decisions. Watson is capable of analyzing information and presenting the results of vast amounts of information and analysis to a human to make a decision. Um, we should talk about where Watson's going because there's some interesting interactions that go on between humans and Watson that we've, we've observed in some of these fields. But it, it's all about informing people. And what we're finding, whether again it's in healthcare, the financial industry, that experts in their field use Watson not to get the top answer, you know, number one or two diagnosis. They want to understand, well, what's number three and number four that Watson came up statistically? And they want to be able to probe into Watson's logic as to how, what sources did Watson use and how did Watson conclude that? Uh, because that's where discovery occurs and that's where they're making sure that their own perhaps personal backgrounds and prejudices aren't influencing their decisions. So it's a very interesting different kind of tool than a decision tool. It's a decision support tool and it's a tool, you know, in a sense, my analogy is, you know, it's, it's like a telescope looking at the physical universe. It's a, it's a telescope that's looking into and analyzing the digital universe that we're creating. That was actually one of the first questions from the audience I wanted to ask you. So let's just go there, which is, uh, what do you see in the way of change in humans who are interacting with Watson, and what are you observing that you're learning about Watson watching that interaction? It's what you were just saying a minute right. ago. Right. So the, the, the first thing that, you know, we, we thought that people would immediately jump to what's the first answer, the second answer. Just as when you do a search, you look at number one or two. That's not, that people will glance at that, but what they're really looking at in the disciplines Watson's being applied, again, is what are the third and fourth answers or the fifth answer that Watson's come up with? And where in the world did Watson find that information? What core, and, and what correlation did Watson draw? What weighting factors did it have? And, and this is where, again, real discovery um, occurs. Uh, 